Don't forget you can pick up your very own Salamander plushie in the link in the description down below. All the proceeds of which go straight to Sustainable Dyson. That's the charity that's helping protect these amazing creatures. But remember, they're only available until the 15th of December. So get one while you still can. Dino, crisis, spiritual, successor. Oh, there's no mistake in that. Oh, I can smell the comments already. But is it though? Because today we're not looking at a random indie game that's having all these publication articles tying Dino Christ Spiritual Successor to it for no reason. No, this time at the Game Awards, something was aired. I think that I think it was aired here. We have hashtag the Game Awards up there, so I'm assuming a Jurassic Park game. Don't build yourself up too much. I'm not. I don't want to get hurt again. The last time we had a proper Jurassic game was Jurassic World Evolution 2. And before that was Jurassic World Evolution. And before that, we haven't. Like, Operation Genesis back in 2001? Why? <laughs> what? So, here we have a game called Jurassic Park Survival. Or Survivor, I don't know. We're gonna get into it. I'm excited. Let's see how it goes. Play. I own an island. Off the coast of Costa Rica. Oh. Really spectacular. Spared no expense. Oh, after. For this place, I wanted to show them something that wasn't an illusion. Something that was real. He never leaves his hat? What? <laughs> Can anyone hear me? This is Dr. Maya Joshi. I've been left behind on Isla Nubla. Oh, wait, what? Oh. Oh, my, oh, okay. The budget. The budget on this. Dilophosaurus in the kitchen now. What? <laughs> okay. God, I can't even see what's happening because... Oh. Oh. Oh, it's, it's just like fan servers. Is anyone there? She's got a Motorola Saber. <laughs> oh, imagine that's just she dies and then I, we actually follow somebody else. <laughs> oh, okay. What? Oh, here we go. Alpha gameplay. Oh my god, yes. Oh. oh okay. Oh. Oh. What? That's a, that's a booba. Oh. 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 <laughs> what were, how oh lord sorry guys i am gonna need a second to process what i've just watched did i just watch a continuation of jurassic park set just after the events of jurassic park while oh Oh, you know that sentence in, like, The Grinch where it's like, oh, it's hard grew, three sizes too big. I feel like that's just happened to me. That explains everything. <laughs> that, that also explains why we had the Jurassic, um, you know, the fan game that was made in uh, Dreams? Uh, that was cancelled. I can't remember what it's called now. But that explains why that was cancelled. Or, like, why, not cancelled, but why Universal got in touch and was like, can you please change that? Because it could be... Mistrude is like actually licensed because they were working on this. That's why they put they gave them like the the soft cease and desist, uh, just remove all Jurassic Park licensing because they were working on something. This is perfect. Oh my god, more, more pre rendered footage. Right. Okay. So the trailer itself, like this part, feels way too quick. Like we're going set piece, set piece, set piece. Like fans of fans of all of it. But oh, 
Like, yeah, so this is 100% after the, the event of Jurassic Park because we've got the jeep that uh, they leave on, the helipad there, the explorer at the bottom of the tree. Uh, this is the T-Rex paddock. So are we actually going to see and settle the age-long debate of the T-Rex paddock? Like how it just, you know, it was like, wait, how did the car fall if the T-Rex was right there? It was a different part. Hey, I'm not going to get into that, but are we finally going to see a canon version? Now, uh, Chris, I think... It is. Yes, he has went on Twitter and said that this followed, because he's part of Jurassic Outpost and has had a lot of dealings. He, you know, he deals with Mattel, like, person to person, I'm pretty sure, because he showcases the toys and stuff, and has, you know, met, had meetings with Colin Trevorrow. Not that I don't think he, I don't know if he's part of this, but Chris has went on record on Twitter, you know, X, whatever, uh, to say that this is, like, canon to the movies, but remember, it's not as airtight as, like, Star Wars, so there might be things that, you know, may not or may exist, who knows. Um, so, this is interesting, like, seeing the galleys run by the 05 Explorer, uh, not too sure about that hat. Did he lose the hat? Actually, yes he did, it had it blown off him by the T-Rex when it did the snort, didn't it? Huh, interesting. Okay, so Jurassic Park 3 was just like, nah, nah, he loves his hat. <laughs> We've got this, uh, this scene, uh, the new character is quite interesting. We've got a claw mark here. Now, that's a big claw mark. Don't know what made that. It's not a T-Rex. And certainly not a raptor. So are we hinting towards a new type of dinosaur? I think if anyone's a fan of Jurassic Park and they're working on this project, which I hope they are, maybe this is a subtle hint towards a different dinosaur. Maybe one we haven't seen before. Because that's a big gouge in that, that pillar there. Um... Of course, new character is probably a bit of a Mary Sue, an insert self, so we can explore Jurassic Park like they are. Though they say they were left behind. Do they say they were part of anything in particular? I think they did. Dr. Maya Joshi. So I'm assuming that she's a doctor. So a, a part of the genetics. It's hard to say how much is legit in this trailer because so much is fan service. It's like, is it in there because it's part of the story? Will this actually happen? Or is it just to be like, hey, look, remember Jurassic Park? Remember Jurassic Park? Remember? <laughs> but the, the pre-render uh, work here, you've got the same flashlight. Um, I can't remember. It's, it's, oh, it's in the Pelican case in the Explorer. I can't, not that anybody really cares. It's probably MK something light. I have it. That thing is super powerful. I was When I was at my parents and I put in the, like, the battery pack at the bottom and I shined it. There was a, like a flat that wasn't far away, like a big block of flats. And it went boom, and it went bah! <laughs> and it just lit it up like a sunlight in the dead of night. And I was like, oh, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Not good. So that was pretty funny. Uh, yeah, and then you've got the kitchen scene. Um, the only interesting thing is here, really, uh, the fridge raptor. I always thought it was a bit weird that they locked it in the fridge, but hey-ho. Maybe in the story you can unlock the fridge and that'll release a raptor in the- sorry, cold storage. Already, the thing's undone. So, not too sure who did that. I mean, there- I, th I think it's just a set piece to be like, hey, remember this? And then the Dilophosaur, which really she should be dead at, like, I, I feel. But she, she manages to get away. It's just what Dennis Nedry couldn't do, and that's run. <laughs> uh, and then you've got the- What's this, the, the T-Rex footprint and then the T-Rex. But really, what the most interesting part of this is, is the pre-alpha footage. So it's hard to see because it's kind of crushed in the bitrate. This looks to be a dock. Like this is water, you're jumping from raft to raft. This is a steering wheel. And then you've got... Um, this is a, a perfect way for this game to explore something the movie didn't. And that's stuff that was in the book. In the book, there was underground tunnels. There were service tunnels running from all over the park. It's how Alan Grant managed to get back. It was kind of in the Jurassic Park Telltale game, which was very nice to see. One of the redeeming factors, one of the only redeeming factors, really. <laughs> Apart from Gerald! Uh, you got to be a raptor under here. Here's more of the dock with a raptor jumping. Oh, it looks so good. And it looks like a Jurassic Park raptor as well. Don't know how this this woman is surviving this. Uh, it it does feel like it's going for me, uh, like a horror genre, horror vibe. A lot of dark colors set at night, no daylight at all. I'm pretty sure by the looks of it. Maybe this is this must be the night after, which is interesting because Telltale 
did that as well. It was like literally the next day. Yeah, I think this is going to be canon for the movies, but not canon for the games. In other words, they're not looking at, oh, the Telltale game did this. We should put this in. So we're not going to see any like paras calling, you know, doing that weird thing with the, the doctor. Oh, but my goodness. You know... For the longest time, I was hoping. You know, Universal was silently working away behind the scenes. Fingers crossed, I'm pretty sure. By the far, by how far this has gone, again, a lot of these in-game alpha footage don't look like gameplay. They look like cinematic, like, cutscenes of, like, you get so close to the, the, the sewer, and then your camera takes control. And you look back at the T-Rex, and it almost gets you. And this bit, you do a jump, and then, boom! Next thing you know, you're in a cinematic, and you look back, and the rapid jumps after you. It feels very much like that. It's very wavy. I'm not seeing any controls, any prompts, or anything like that. Um, but, my God, I'm so, so happy that, in my head, I was right. They, they, they were you know, just cracking on with something. We've had so many cancelled projects. We had Jurassic Park 3 Survivor, uh, which was set in Isla Sauna. Um, you had the Jurassic World one, which is like this again, set after the events of Jurassic World. And now it looks like they went to the drawing board. They cancelled that. They were like, okay, Universal, team, we know Jurassic Park sells. That's why we plastered the logo and everything. That's why we give it most focus out of all of the movies. Let's do Jurassic Park Survival. They tried with Jurassic World. I don't know why it got cancelled. It could have been budgetary, could have been whatever. This feels like this has only been in production since about Dominion. Maybe after. They really had a thought of where do we go? What's the big game we do? Because they've seen the reactions of all of us. Uh, you know, when all these games be cancelled, we're like, oh, just do this, do a survival horror, Jurassic Park survival horror, do a set after the events sort of thing. And that's what, this is the answer to it. That This is 100% the answer to it. And I am so freaking happy. This is so good. Who knows what it'll look like. Hopefully there's no issues. Jurassic Park games never have a good track record when it comes to development. Uh, but it's coming out of the PS5. The Xbox Series X and the small version, I think that's what that is. Uh, PC and what the hell is Saber? Is Sa uh, Saber must be the company making it. That's what that must be. I was like, I've never heard of a Saber. <laughs> Sabertooth cat. Um, so yeah, learn more at Jur www.jurassicparksurvival.com, shall we? I think we should have a look at that site. Uh, return to Easton Ublod the day after the events of the beloved 1993. Well, it seems like the same day, but okay. Survive thrilling first person action as InGen scientist Dr. Maya Joshi, uh, who was unable to evacuate Isla Nublar in the single player action adventure game and discover a never before told story. Through thrilling encounters, experience the wonder and danger of dinosaurs, each with their own distinct and adaptive behaviors brought to life by John Hammond's vision. Okay, so they've really focused on it being night. I think that we will have a situation a bit like a Jurassic Park Telltale game, where we'll start during the day. She'll realize uh, she's been left behind, what she can do, you know. As the tutorial of the game starts, I feel like it'll be daytime. I don't know, if I was a betting man, 200 credits on that. <laughs> then, you know, as as the actual movie is, you know, as, as things go on and uh, I think at night, you know, time goes on, night, night arrives, then it'll get more intense. We'll have the climactic ending and, and what have you. Uh, but explore Isla Nublar. Adventure through a fully realized Isla Nublar filled with reactive wildlife, dinosaurs, and other surprising threats. More? Okay. Uh, weather? I don't know. From the iconic towering uh, park gates to the visitor center and beyond, Jurassic Park comes alive like never before. Evade prehistoric predators, outsmart, escape, and interact with the film's iconic dinosaurs. Use your ingenuity through uh, distraction and stealth to navigate intense and unforgettable encounters in a journey to outlast some of the deadliest creatures to ever walk the earth. So, we're not having guns where it's a stealth thing. It's a bit like Jurassic World, what the hell was that VR game? Was it Jurassic World VR? I don't think that was the experience, that one. Uh, but yeah, that one that like made my left eye bugger up. Uh, <laughs> I was like, ow! Oh no, it's my right eye. Ah, oh, my right eye! <laughs> For some reason, I don't know, because I'm recording from there. Anyway, so we're not going to be shooting dinosaurs, we're surviving. 
Um, probably because, you know, we can't kill T-Rex. We can't do anything like that, right? Because, well, T-Rex goes on in Jurassic World. Uh, survive the island. Explore the park and face its dangers. Use all the resources at your disposal to find intelligent solutions to endure the many threats lurking on Isla Nublar. Subscribe for the release updates. Uh, always a good thing to do, guys. If you, if you can, uh, you'll get notified there. It's like when I did my uh, salamander plushies. That was a great way for people to get notified. Also, you'll find down below, you can get your own salamander plushie with the freaking... You don't even need to click on a link. It's Well, there's a link. It's, it's there underneath the video. It's a bar. It's beautiful. If you're watching this up to the 20th of December anyway. After that, it'll probably disappear. Anyway, there might be something else. Uh, so, yeah, we're, not, we're still in the dark kind of of specifics. But we know what type of game it's going to be. What we're going to see. And oh, oh, it's beautiful. I love this. This is this is amazing. Wow. I, I never, I mean, I was hoping for the longest time. The, the amount of effort that they've put in to, you know, this trailer. They've put so much thought and time into the renders look beautiful. Uh, Maya looks complete. Is it me or Maya? Uh, anyway. Uh, it looks completely realistic. Uh, it doesn't look uncanny valley. It looks very freaking good. Uh, yeah, a lot of fan service, but I don't know, guys. What do you think? I think this could shape up to be one of the best Jurassic Park games we've ever had. Um, who knows, man? We've ne we like it's been so long since we've had a Jurassic Park game that had horror elements in it, but here we are. It's, it might not be a horror game, but there's definitely elements and themes in there. And if you enjoyed this video, guys, leave a like. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Oh, bye-bye.